I've got a good one for you. I've always got a good one for you, but this one is an especially good one for you. So you better stay tuned. You better sign up to Jordan Shanks for two extra videos a week. For the price of a coffee, you can get infinite wisdom and you become extremely wealthy. Fact. So many people have written to me saying that they become millionaires because of what I've shared with them at Jordan Shanks. Yeah, you wouldn't expect you'd be out there. Pow, surprise. Well, here's the actual uh, meat of what I'm going to be talking about today, which is I want you to spend 10 minutes after this, yes, get off the internet. I know that you can do it. I know that you've got your self-control app, don't you? If you don't, that's what you're doing next. And give me 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes for you to write down the answer to the following question. What am I going to teach my children? Ooh, now this one gets deep. Almost as deep as any Polly Shaw film. Almost. And <laughs> why I want you to answer that question is, when you do it, and I want you to sincerely do it, by the way, I want you to think about what, you, what values you want your child to have. What are you going to be teaching them? Ideally, obviously, you're not going to be anywhere near what you think that you're going to be, but what you would, in a perfect universe, brainwash your child into being, which is what you will be doing. And there's going to be two things that you're going to notice. The first one is that when you write down all of those things, you're going to sit there and go, hmm, yeah, I'm going to be a pretty good parent. Or even if you're a parent, do it now, because you probably haven't. You're probably doing meth instead, aren't you? Get off it. But, uh, <laughs> but yes, if you can write down what values you want your kids to have, the reason you want to be asking that is because when you write it down, you will notice that those values are going to be very close to what have been programmed into you. That right there is the cheat code into your values. And as we've discussed before, what are your values is how your life is going to be shaped. You can write your goals down, but your goals will be guided by what your values are. So if you write down, because I did this on the Neil and Jordan podcast, right? I was asking Neil, what does he want his kids to be? Well, it was actually some genius questionnaire that gave us the question. So, But I'll take credit for it nonetheless. Who cares about him, right? So <laughs> he wrote, he just said, what uh, piece of advice would you be giving your children? Anyway, when Neil was discussing it, isn't this phenomenal? The things that he said, you could tell, you could tell had been programmed into him. And then uh, I avoided the question and then didn't do it myself. So I'm going to be doing it as well after this. But, we're sneaky like that. But, uh, yeah, so he was basically saying, uh, I want them to be academic, obviously, uh, and he wants them to be patient, and he wants them to have persistence. These are all things that when you go back and you reflect on it, it's like, okay, I was taught that as a kid. I want them to be financially literate. He was taught that as a kid. And so what is happening is there is just a long chain of family values that are getting instilled into you and then they become your values and then you will parrot those to your kids. And if you understand what those driving forces are, this will help you not just with your children, obviously. This is going to help you with the rest of your life. You are going to notice that the things that you are striving for, we're not even talking about the things that, you know, when you snap and you do the things that you regret, we're talking about the things that you aspire to, they will be very different to your partners. They'll be very different to everybody else's in life. They will be your specific values. Those values will dictate the rest of your life. They currently are now. You are an imprint of what those values are. Those values are shaping a lot of your decisions. Those values are shaping the way that you want to navigate through the world and what you are noticing and what you are cherishing. That's important to know. If you know that, you pretty much know yourself. We've talked about values before, obviously, but if you understand these values and then you can shape them in a different way, then you're kind of just like, these are the things that we're talking about when we're saying like, you know, subconscious autopilot stuff. This is what's happening with those questions. So when you sit there, I want you to honestly be thinking like, okay, ideally I want the child to be like this. You'll get into it and you will notice that you'll have this Manchurian candidate response of, uh, 
uh, I want them to be wearing one of those 19th century sailor suits with the hilarious hat and the giant lollipop. And then you'll go back and look at a photo and think, oh my God, I was in one of those Shirley Temple movies. And somehow I was born in 1993. But anyway, <laughs> you're going to be doing... You're going to be doing that. You are going to be doing that. As soon as we click off, there's nothing more vital, nothing that you could be doing in the next 10 minutes could be more important than you figuring out why you're doing the things that you're doing. Because that's what that answers. That question answers why you're doing the things that you're doing. Then, next, after that, you are going to go to the next stage and think, all right, do these values serve me? Do I like these values? If you like those values, that's fine. But here's a bigger question. Can you make the values better? So instead of being like, I don't know, for instance, this is a very off the top of my head one. So don't judge it. But I'm saying that if you write something along the lines of, I want my kids to be learned. What's really happening there? What is the value that comes from you want your kids to be learned? I don't know why you wouldn't just write educated, but let's just assume again that you are the 19th century lollipop kid. You are cherishing that as a mechanism of getting ahead in life. So this is all the things that you think are the mechanisms that are going to push you ahead. Are they actually in alignment? Are they the things that really do push you ahead? Obviously, yeah, education is an obvious, easy no-brainer, yeah? There are going to be a lot of people that are not going to write down educated. They're going to write down that they want their kids to have a lot of experiences in life. They're going to write down that they want their kids to be creative. They want to write down that their kids are going to be wholesome. That they're going to be fulfilled. These are the things that are going to push you ahead. And when you see those values, you will start to realise, oh my God, that my mama looked like the way it looked like. It's going to be dictating your job, what you prioritise in your job is going to be dictating how you interact with your spouse. It will do everything. It's really obvious as well. When you speak to parents and they talk about, they, 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 they brag almost about, uh, these are the things that I want my, that I'm teaching my children. It's an extension of you. And before you have children, really, you do owe it to yourself to at least know what are the things that are guiding you that have been programmed into you. Because here's the other thing. Look at the values and think, I want you to even put a dot next to the ones that you think were not taught to you by your parents. You will notice how few there are. Scary stuff. Also, great and enlightening as well. It's a double-edged sword in that way. So, do it. Give yourself the 10 minutes to do that one simple exercise. You won't regret it. You really won't. Once you have that blueprint, you have a blueprint to the rest of your life. You have a blueprint to the rest of the things that are going to tick you off for the rest of your life when anybody just like, uh, you know, attacks one of those values that you have, you're going to see that you're going to have a response of wanting to shut them out of your life because you want to keep those values intact. These are deeper than beliefs. Values are deeper than your beliefs. It's one layer down from that. It's more kind of like the emotional feeling behind the beliefs. And as we've always stated, emotions drive human beings far more than logic ever does. So it's kind of emotion plus belief. That's what the value is there. So let's write down what you would ideally teach your child to be. Because as someone once said in the comments here, and I love it, is uh, that the greatest thing about being a parent is that you just get to be a little mini Murdoch. <laughs> you just get to teach them whatever you want them to be. So, make sure you do it. Make sure that you sign up to Jordan Shanks for unlimited content. And by unlimited, I mean there is some limit. But there's a lot there. Yeah, Every week, you get a couple of extra updates. You don't want to be depriving yourself of that. These are the things that will get you ahead in life. Those are the true values that will. And the reason they will, and it's not just because they're my values. These are the values of countless self-help books distilled into their simplest form. You take what you think is necessary for your life, which is all of it, by the way, and you get results because you are looking into those things and you're thinking of the world in those certain ways. So make sure you do that. I'll see you next time.